All right, guys, welcome back to the shack. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but uh, the shape of code is up and running. Now, I'm having to struggle through the Carbide 3D software. I haven't got my feet well planted in the software yet. Still steadily finding things that don't work the way that I'm used to. And I'm also working to try to get VCarve to where I can use it with the machine, but I haven't got a post processor set up that will activate the spindle. And with me having the spindle, I don't want to have to manually turn anything on. So I'm waiting on that. But right now I'm running the machine. I'm running it on carbide motion. But currently the file that I'm running right now, I'm making myself, my very first project is gonna be a, 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 a rather large Clack Shack logo to go over here on the wall uh, so that I can take the little pathetic one down that I made on a laser. Uh, I'm using some scraps from stove covers that I've done and getting that thing uh, getting that thing cut out. The machine is doing really, really well right now. I haven't had any problems. I did set the machine up and I went over it with Allen wrenches and made sure all the connections were tight. I'm going to run it for a few days, get a few hours on it. I'm going to go back through it. If there's any screws that I do find that aren't tight, then I'm gonna go around and apply some thread lock, uh, some blue lock tight to them. I'm hoping I don't have to. The only two screws so far that I found that I think I may is the two little thumb screws on the bottom of that uh, Sweepy Pro. And guys, when I've been, I've been saving money for this thing for a while. I got all of the extras, all of the bells and whistles, and I, I'm glad I did. But this machine, I bought, I paid for, this video is not one of those where I get to try the machines out. All right guys, so I'm gonna set up here across the, across the room because the bit interacting with the material does make a little bit of noise. Now, I'm making a little bit of a mess right now because I've got my chip extraction turned off, but that's okay because the work surface is so big, all the saw shavings are gonna be in the middle of the table and I can vacuum that up easily. But I went through, when I ordered the machine, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and just get everything I needed. Go ahead and get the four foot by four foot. Uh, I wanted the spindle. I mean, I wanted it out of the box with all the bells and whistles and that's what I've got. Uh, the table, I will hopefully try to get into a little more in depth videos and stuff in the future guys. I know I have people ask me about the table. People have been asking me about uh, the dimensions of the table. I do have a, a file that I created in Fusion that kind of shows how I built the table. Now I did kind of go off script a little bit once I started building it, but it'll give you the general layout. Uh, the machine itself, like I said, all the stuff that's on it came from Carbide. So there's no, I had to not had to do any engineering or any electrical work to it. The one concern that I did have that I wasn't sure of, but I have confirmed now that it does work, is whether or not my chip extraction would be activated by the spindle controller or whether I would have to you know, rethink that. But luckily for me, I plugged up the spindle controller into the trigger wire for the chip extraction and bam, it works. So everything, when I send the file to the machine, spindle comes on, chip extraction comes on, it works great. Uh, the carbide has built in the spin up time. I've seen some people concerned about spin up times for VFDs. This one actually will spin up as it's in motion before it gets to the cut. So that's a, that's a really cool feature. But so far guys, I haven't found anything other than my learning curve with the software. I haven't found anything to complain about. The assembly, uh, Klein and I did the assembly. It didn't take, it, t it probably took us longer than the 90 minutes that they, uh, that they advertise, but my OCD kind of caused a lot of that because I kept measuring and remeasuring and checking square and che rechecking square uh, to try to get, make sure that everything was the way it needed to be. But so far, so good guys. I know y'all want to see more content, but I've got to get up in the morning and I'll be driving to Georgia for the workbench con. And I haven't got a whole lot of sleep the last two nights. I had orders backed up. I didn't get to play with the CNC any. Like I put it together, got it working, did a couple of little shorts, and it's just been sitting over here. Uh, so tonight, even though I'm going on like six hours sleep the past two days, I had to get out here and, and, and at least start a project, make a project. And I figured while I was, 
I try to give you guys a video and let you know, I haven't forgot about you. It's just been really busy trying to get all my orders out so that I can be away from home for the four days over at Workbench Con. Uh, I still plan on having a little, maybe a little get together with some of you guys. Once I get my feet on the ground over there, confirm all the schedule, see what's nearby. I'll try to get something out on social media, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, whatever, to let you guys know. But I've also got me a contraption rigged up to where I can put the GoPro on there. So there's going to be lots of content and it's, it's going to be awesome. I'm enjoying the machine. I've already taken in a couple of jobs. Had a guy over this afternoon who does taxidermy. Who knew there was a market for CNC work in taxidermy, but there he is. So uh, try to get some new work to put the machine to uh, paying for itself because I like for my machines to reimburse me over time. That way I can go get another machine and, an, and another machine <laughs> and another machine. But anyway, guys, uh, I've been taking some pictures. I've got some videos. We'll try to put something a little more substantial together, but I just want to get something out to you and uh, let y'all know where we're at. And uh, Carbide was generous enough to allow me to join their affiliate program with purchase. <laughs> so if you're interested in getting one of these, feel free guys, use the link down below. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It will kind of go back to help me recoup some of my expenses for the machine so I can buy my next one. So, but anyway, guys, more to come. Stay tuned. If you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, be safe and have a good day.